two astronomers must embark on a massive media tour to broadcast mankind of an approaching comet that will destroy the planet. You guys discovered a comet? That's so dope. But their increasingly desperate warnings sorry, aren't taken are seriously. Up. Are we not being clear? And their pleas for action are ignored. Don't Look Up isn't a true story, but it's inspired by real-life events. The media's impact on the delivery of news reports and topics influences the public's consciousness. The news reports are written in such a manner that when one news report is given more weight and attention than others, the audience would automatically see it as the most significant news and information. The media choose which news appears first and which comes second, based on how people believe and how much effect they will have among the public. This is a communication theory, specifically agenda setting theory. Why do you think it was named just like that? If you think that it is named because the one who is setting the agenda was the media, then you've hit the nail on the head. This theory was first introduced in 1972 by university professors Maxwell McCombs and Donald Shaw discovered in a survey of North Carolina voters during the 1968 U.S. presidential election that what people believe were the most important issues for the mass media. A film Don't Look Up is an example of this tackle theory. So there had an agenda, we're a planet killer to will hit directly towards Earth in just six months. Despite Earth. being the truth in the movie, there is the truth in the statement that no one wants we're to know to we have a 100% of right dying there. from a comet. There's no denying that often it's a Hollywood scandal that tends to get the cut through. And that's what mainstream tabloid media focuses on. Oh my god, of course! Yeah. Alright, DJ Cello. A clip of Kate Dibiaski losing it on the air earns wide attention. As a meme that gets likes and laughs on social media. But then, there is that one issue that caught the eye of the people. A two-sentence headline moves faster than the very important news. It shows that the story isn't driving much traffic. The news cycle moves on. Agenda setting, you know, has the potential to provide a persuasive exposition of major societal problems, and it prioritizes the subjects that will be relevant to people. So as you can see, this theory states that the media has a significant impact on its audience by establishing what they should think about rather than what they really believe.